Hello, everybody. My name is Ghost for Tape Face. Welcome to episode one of the Mindsaft series. This is a friendly non-PVP little series. We're going to be playing at 1.18 Minecraft. I am joined with, right next to me by Sir Sausage, another fellow Minecraft YouTuber. I would like to thank you all for coming, and I just I hope we have a wonderful time going through our little shenanigans on this server. And without further ado, let's get straight into the playing. So we begin the series with chopping down a few trees for wood, killing some animals for food, and I killed this chicken, and then this happened. Ow! All right, everybody. We're at a pretty, we're at crossroads, pretty much. We got a zo group of zombies coming after me. And I got really nothing. Don't know what to do. I don't really start new worlds. So this is like, really like, I'm not someone who just like totally just is always in survival mode, always starting a new world. I like just playing the same world for a while. So I don't really know what to do. So right now I'm just in a field. Basically, I just ran back to spawn after I left um, Sir Sausage. So, I just decided, I came up with a game plan. Let's just grab some of this. Some seeds, hopefully. Oh, please don't shoot, please don't shoot, please don't shoot, please don't shoot. What the heck? That spider's going after him. Get him, spider, get him! I don't know what that's about. Oh, I don't have any more food other than chicken. At least I'm at spawn. See, I die a lot, so, um... Yeah, this is probably a good spot for me. I'm just gonna keep breaking. Wow, look at those icebergs. Ooh, those are beautiful. Let's just keep breaking, grabbing some seeds. We're just going to set up camp right here at spawn. So while at spawn, I farmed a little, set up a little base camp. This tragically happened, which led to this. Stop it. This is revenge. Revenge. Oh, yeah. Look at him. I got his bone. I got two. Let's see. Are the salmon different sizes? Yes, there's a salmon of different size. I just had to know, because, like, I understand that it's bedrock, but I'm still checking on the realms, because I heard that there are, like, glitches in certain things on the realms. Like, you can just lose everything. I don't know if I heard that one about the realm, but I did hear. I have lost everything. I have suffered from that one glitch, where when you use the uh, end portal, everything just was deleted from your inventory. So, yeah, I suffered from that glitch. Alright, so I think I'm going to set my spawn right here on this little peninsula up because, oh my goodness, it's a horsey. Look how beautiful this horse is. I have plans to actually work with horses and, like, make some good horses because I've never had a good horse before. I always have bad ones because I don't really care about them, but those plans aren't yet, so... After killing that horse, I went mining for coal killed the cow, cooked the cow, ate the cow, and then killed some more horses. You know, I was told one time that um, if you kill all the horses, they quit spawning, but I've never found that to be true. So in this world, we're really going to put that to test and literally kill every single horse that we find. Can they cross a river? I don't know. Oh, they can. If they go too slow, change of plans. I can assure you no chickens were harmed in the making of the previous clip. Then we looted a village. We kidnapped a villager, and put him in a hole, and then covered him up. Oh my goodness, a pink sheep just spawned in right next to me. Wow. That's like a 0.2% chance or something. That is crazy. I don't kill him. A pink sheep just spawned in right next to me. Wow, I have never seen that before. That is so cool. The first time a pink sheep I ever see one. It's with you guys. Then we met up with Sir Sausage, mined some iron, found some lava, got some obsidian, and then Sir Sausage mined it. Hello, everybody. All right, we are going to be wishing Sir Sausage off on his journey into the nether. As you see, he is totally kitted out in an all iron armor and is defeated by a prickly berry bush. So, uh, yeah, that's who we're putting our hopes in. Alright, well, um, we're gonna go build him a beautiful portal frame for his farewell. So we're just gonna find a spot somewhere on this spawn island to do it. Really, I have no clue where to put it, so I'm just gonna randomly choose a spot. And I think that right here, right here looks like a good spot. So let's just build this beautiful frame up for him. Oh, it's gonna be lovely. 
just it's just a beautiful really I'm really just digging into all of my architectural feelers and stuff whatever you know really really gonna make this really pop you're gonna know that something important is here so we are almost done all right sir sausage you can come on over and enjoy your brand new portal frame what what is that this is your portal frame. You, you like it, right? It's so beautiful. Look at the abstractness of it, I think. Yeah, it's it's great, <laughs> except I forgot to grab the portal. Oh my goodness. I forgot to grab the obsidian. No, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Um. Oh, let me. All right, yeah, put him in. Did. Are you, you're actually serious? Oh my. Alrighty. And then I just, I still got to put on the final two blocks really to tie it together. So, he's got those. Uh -uh, thank you. Now let's put the final two blocks on. There we go. This is beautiful. Look at this. Alright. Do the ceremonial lighting of the portal. Do you have flint and steel? No. We got flint and steel and had our portal lighting ceremony. Man, the sheep though. I mean, look at this. A brown sheep with a nose apparently did you not know that brown sheep had noses now let's um hold on before you go through this is for good luck it's a ceremonial apple eat it um before you light it you need to do it it's for safety of course safety i got a lot second of... for once i'm full on hunger oh my goodness oh my goodness this is the best portal lighting ceremony i have I'm ever seen we've got a beautiful what are you doing? Oh, okay. Still? You can eat now. Alright, light it. Light it. Light it. I actually got it. <gasps> Ooh. Farewell, good sir. Farewell, good sir. Taking a second? Alright, well, he's gone. Let's get back to work. We got back to work. We went mining, and we found an amethyst geode, so we destroyed it. Hello, everybody. So, um, I just came back to our little hut, and I found this. My bed is surrounded by berry bushes. So, instead of destroying these like any normal person would do, instead, I did that. I'm going to put a berry bush on his bed. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm starting, but, uh, we... <laughs> We don't, I don't know, just, um, I just had to show you this, that my bed was surrounded in berry bushes, so I've got to do this now. Then we found our one and only diamond mining. Welcome back, everyone. So we just finished our little mining trip, so now let's take a look at what we got. So we did pretty well on the copper and the iron. I, of course, destroyed that geode and got all of these blocks because I just, I like the calcite. They're a nice building block. And then we got a little bit of lapis and redstone. I don't even use redstone, so I'm thinking I may just try to sell this. But, yeah, we got some gold, too, which is pretty nice. And then our, our one diamond. Ooh. I, I really wanted to because I need an uh, enchanter table or whatever it's called. But, uh, yeah, with one diamond, we got a jukebox, and that's it. So I'm probably going to just save this diamond until we try to find another. Hello everybody, I am just down here in the mines and I found a few things. First off, we found diamonds. Yay, here they are. Deep Slate Diamonds, we're at Y equals negative 42. We are way down here. And we actually found a couple, um, I think I found two iron ore veins. And I got all this iron, 32 iron. And this is for the first time I ever found a block of raw iron. So now we are just going to mine our diamonds right here. I don't actually know how many we have, so let's see. We got one. Oh, wow, this looks pretty good. Oh, awesome. Look how many. Looks like six. Oh, yes. Yay, we got six diamonds. So I'm going to keep mining, and I'm now going to actually set up a strip mine down here at negative 40. So um, we'll see how many diamonds we get from that. But just from caving down here, I got six so far. So let's see if I can find any more. So in our strip mine, we found a few more diamonds. 
Well, hello, everybody. So, I just got the obsidian. Let's now put... Let's now craft our enchantment table. Woohoo. Finally. Ta-da! Enchantment table. I think you need a silk touch to mine it, so I'm not going to put it down. So, I'm going to make this one a public enchantment table because... I don't have a spot for a base yet, so I'm just going to go build a little hut towards the center. I'm not going to time, time lapse it. It's going to be a pretty simple one, so I'll just show you guys the finished product. Well, hello everybody, and I just finished our little enchanting area. It is right here. Just a little hut I just put together really quickly. Of course, I'm going to need more of these bookshelves right now. Not really sure. We're on level 20 in chance. We clearly want level 30, so I'm not sure how many I need. I think if I just stack this up too high all the way around, that should be enough. But I decided to um, build this over here because I wanted to, well, because this is more efficient because the mine is over there. So I'm always passing here when I'm headed to the mine. But I am tired of having to do this. I'm tired of swimming across, so right now we are going to do a quick time lapse of me building a little bridge. And sadly, I do not have my um, second account up yet, so we're going to have to do this in the first person, but yeah, I'm still going to show you. So this is going to be our first time lapse of the Minecraft series. Let's get into it. So here is the end of our little bridge. I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out, and I, I like the shape and the the lanterns to light it up. And yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. This this may not stay because this is right in the beginning of the server, so this may get replaced with one time or at one time or another. Just as the little over there that we built. And hello, sir. And yes, so I pretty happy with how this has turned out now oh yeah we're probably gonna go back mining because I think I need more more um, materials and things oh I got this rotten flesh I was waiting for that to despawn so I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and yes yeah, so after I go I'm gonna go mining for a second and then when I come back I'll show you guys what I get so be back in a second so I decided to go mining really quickly, and along the way, I found some horses, had to kill them, and then this happened. This was insane. So I found a emerald block, and then when I went to go mine the emerald block, I saw that wandering trader, and I was like, oh my goodness, what if he has moss, and I can, could trade for some moss? So then I went to the wandering trader, and he had moss. So now I've got two blocks of moss. Of course, we can make more using bone meal, and I was super excited about that. And then another thing that happened while I was on this mining trip, I was in the mountains because I was going for coal, and then I found this cute little arctic fox, and I was so excited. In the future, I have plans to actually capture an arctic fox and have him as a pet, but as of right now, I left him alone. Welcome back, everybody. So what we are going to do right now is I have something that I've been working on, and I need to show you really quickly. So we're just going to head over here. And here we go. This is it. All of these cows. So we're going to really quickly gather all of the leather from them and let's see how much we get. Alright guys, so this is how much leather we got, and how much raw beef we got. Two and a half stacks of raw beef, and a stack and a little of leather, that is not that bad. But look how many baby cows are in here. I had no idea that there were this many baby cows. 
but it looks like we are actually going to go talk to Sir Sausage for a second. So let's go see what he wants. So what are we doing today, Sir Sausage? We're going to the Nether. Yeah, that, Sorry. folks. Oh, um, I just saw, I tried to look at myself, and I just saw you straight through you. All right, let's go in the nether. We have never done this, so for the first time, we are going into the nether. So, in the nether, we gathered some resources, and then we fought this enderman. He almost killed me, and then Sir Sausage died. So, we actually had to go get his loot back in this bastion. Welcome back, everybody. So after we finished our little adventure in the nether, I decided to come out into the overworld and actually find a space for my starter base. And this is where I have chosen, right here on the hill, overlooking spawn. And my idea is it's going to be sort of a vineyard. And I'm going to have, like, tiers and potato fields growing all over the place, like over there. And, of course... I built a bridge right there, so, I mean, what else am I going to do other than move to a place where I need to build a bridge now? Because, you know, I crossed the water again. Yeah, the, we're going to have to come up with another bridge. And also, we're going to have to terraform all of this, because this is just this is just hideous. So, we'll have to fix that, too. But I think, I think we can doctor this place up good enough. And so the idea is we're going to have a couple potato fields, like one right here. And of course we have one right there. And they're going to be on this hill. And then here's our little starter base that we're going to have. And you may be wondering, Ghost for Tate Face, why are you wearing a totally different skin? Well, because first off, my other skin, I don't know what's happening, but it's not loading properly right now. But that is totally fine because I would like to introduce you guys to ghost for tate face 2 he is going to be our little helper this series and he is going to be helping us record everything and giving us those beautiful shots so look at us so cute together we're matching and he's just going to help us so right now we are going to be taking a time lapse of us building our starter base these are the materials that i've got for our starter base everything up here i believe this should be enough and then this, of course, these are just a few things I gathered just to maybe start doing some terraforming down there. So, I will see. Hopefully, hopefully, I can build the entire little base in one quick time lapse with all of these materials. I hope this is enough. But we'll see. And without further ado, let's let Ghost for Tate Phase 2 take away and let's watch a quick time lapse of me building the base. Well, I hope you enjoyed that really quick time lapse. So now we're just going to look at the house. This is what we have built, and I am pretty happy with how it turned out. Of course, it's not finished, as you see how rigid this line is here. I may do a little more blending between the materials, and, again, and then again, I've got to still work on the roof. But I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm going to let you guys see the back, since you guys didn't see that in the time lapse. Here's the back. Of course, we still got dirt up there, and we didn't even finish right there. So there's still a lot of work to be done. But I'm really happy, and we didn't put a roof on this little area. Forgot about that. And then, of course, we still got to put a windows in, decorate the walls and stuff. And this is what it looks like from the inside. So I I'm pretty happy with how this um, building turned out. So originally, I wasn't thinking it was going to have a second story, but since this roof is so tall, I'm just going to put a second story. I'll just put a boards up right there, and then just put storage up in my attic or something. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I like how it all looks, and we're definitely, we still got to do a lot of work, though, to the roof to make that look nicer. And I'm not going to time-lapse it, though, because that 
that time last that was difficult as you'd see i was fighting at night and and how the rain just stopped Ooh, that was that was a difficult time lapse Making time lapses in survival is nothing like making time lapses in creative. But I'm pretty happy with how this building turned out. I think that the addition to with the um, with the slabs to the roofs was really really good, and I'm pretty happy. So I'm just gonna really quickly I'm gonna put a few more touches onto this house, just a few more. I'm definitely going to add in some windows and stuff like that and put a door in. And I may put a floor in, but I am not going to do the interior at all. I'm just going to try to finish the roof, put a floor in, and that's about it. So I will see you in a second. Hello, everybody. So I just made a few more little touch-ups just to finish the roof off. As you see, just put a little detail around it. I'm going to probably do something around these windows because it's rather bland. And then I'm definitely going to be putting awnings and things over the little doors. And I'll definitely just add a more detail to the building. But I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out so far. The inside, I haven't done anything yet. It's totally empty. And yes, I'm pretty happy with how this building has turned out. I'm happy with the colors and stuff. You know, not that many people are fans of diorite. But I think that diorite actually did pretty well with this color palette. I think that this calcite really helps tie the diorite in. And uh, I'm pretty happy. I think the roof, the roof sits on very nice. And I think that this is going to be the end of our first Minesaft video. So sadly, I was not able to figure out what is wrong with my skin. So I guess I'm going to be this guy for a while now. For whatever reason, it will not load in properly. Don't know what's going on, but the entire pack is just not loading in. So for right now, we're going to be this guy with this awesome hat. I love this hat. <laughs> So, I would like to thank you, everybody, so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and this has been so much fun. And in this video, I would like you guys to leave a comment. In the comments, you guys can leave whatever you'd like, but there's one question that I would definitely like you guys to answer. What was your favorite build so far in this episode? out of this series we've done I'm gonna give you three choices so your first choice is that bridge do you guys like that bridge is that your favorite build or do you guys like this house of course it's not done yet so it's gonna get better but as of right now do you think that bridge or this house is better or do you guys like this potato field right here look how beautiful this potato field is look at the water spaced through it oh in the shape look at that shape that is a potato field and I just I don't know is this potato field better than that bridge and this house so you guys let me know in the comments what do you like best that bridge this house or this beautiful potato field that is feeding us Please let me know, and I would just I would like to thank you guys so much again for watching the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, because if you don't, you may get ghosted.